Honestly, we cannot deny that ours is also a corrupted generation. The innumerable examples of inhumanity and unmerciful self-contempt that lead towards a complete lack of morality are the true signs of the stage of history in which we currently live. How can we dare to ask for a sign of God's presence if we have forged this society in an obsessive and continuous renunciation of every act of conscience and every exercise of virtue? If the Queen of the South and the inhabitants of Nineveh will rise against that generation of the Gospel, it will be those Pharisees and scribes who will accuse us before God in that dies ire. At least they pretended to follow a code or to fulfill the commandments of a supreme rule. We, however, signed a long time ago the abolition of every supreme rule, which has resulted in the morbid and cancerous freedom of today humanity. Paul VI said at the closing of the Second Vatican Council that in it there had been a clash between two religions, the religion of God made man, and the religion of the man who aspires to become God. Sincerely, I think that more than 50 years later, the man of this generation only aspires to consume the whole world in order to satisfy his self-addiction. The Pharisees received the sign of Jonah, a call to repentance and penance, or in other words, to turn back to God from that sick wall of appearance and trickery, which sign, or better said, which testimony could we give to the man who, like Nero, is praising his own deformity and his untuned art over the burning city of the top of his power? <laughs>